All right, so I left off the last video with this sketch here where we have our kind of house, clouds, all this stuff. Um, this is a single sketch. What I need to do is break this down into four smaller sketches. Each one of these things is going to be done out of a piece of different piece of wood. Um, so I'm going to look at, like, I want to make things that are all going to be the same type of wood all on one sketch um, and then other stuff on a different sketch. So I think what I need to do is figure out here kind of what colors I want to do. Um, I'm trying to think how I would break this down into four colors. Probably this would be something, if I had this, you know, planned out a little further in advance, I'd have a better idea of, like, what I want to do here. But clearly I need one for this. Uh, I'm thinking, like, like, you know, like the trees and the shrubs should both be green. Um, I'm trying to think for the clouds. Definitely I need, like, some sort of light background for the for the sky. I don't have blue, obviously, because I'm working with uh, working with just grains of wood. But I might go for something light in there. Um, or, you know, I have to kind of pick and choose my, my colors on this one, too see what kind of like effect I want to have. I'm thinking I would want to have something light on here, but I could do something very dark and give that kind of, have a more ominous feel to it maybe, or a little more uh, cozy feel maybe, depending on how you do it. Um, but I need to just kind of pick some things out here. So let me just start with how I do the shrubs, because I know those for sure I want to make all the same color. Um, I might also do something like, maybe I'm going to make the, the door, the shrubs, and the top of the tree all out of the same type of wood. So I'm going to, I'm in the sketch already. I need to finish that sketch. All right, so I need to make a new sketch in here. Hopefully, I just have one sketch. Great. All right, uh, so I'm gonna make a new sketch. And okay, so the main thing that I want to do on here, and this is actually a very extremely useful tool in Fusion, uh, is the ability to project something from one sketch to another. Uh, typically, we want to do this. Like, I'll use this when I'm building something. If I want to uh, reference one point in one sketch to another, like if I'm building something that's three dimensional, so I might want to. Uh, three-dimensional, I might want to reference like a line that was in the top view sketch, I want to reference that in the front view sketch. And I don't want to have to like recreate it, I want to like have the same reference line for both. Uh, that way if I make a change in one sketch and maybe the top view sketch, it will also affect the front view. I just, I just want these things to be linked and I want them to be uh, an object from one sketch to be available in the other. Anyways, so here's what we're going to do. We are going to, we are in sketch two. I'm going to select the P. I'm going to select P for project. I forget where that's at. I think it's is it in, it should be in here, I think. Yeah, project. Um, but shortcut is just P and then we'll select the geometries that we want to include. Uh, we can select, I want to select all the, oh, I want to do the trees in this one. I can select all these little bits of the tree. I could do one at a time, but if I also, if I double click, it'll do its best to try and fill in the, the gap for me. So I want to do that. I want to get this. I want to get this. I do want to have, okay. So it's going to be a little bit of a tricky spot in here. I want to incorporate these two lines, but I really, I don't want the whole line in here. I really just want this this section of it. Um, let me see what the best option is for this. I could delete this later. I think I could trim this. Um, I was trying to, I think I'm gonna do something. I think I'm gonna do this with, okay. So like I said before, like I can, I can project something and if I change it in one sketch, it will change it in the other because they're kind of like linked together. That's this projection link tab. Um, the problem is that if I do that for this one, I think I'm not going to be able, I want to be able to trim this out of my, the second set of sketches. But I think if I have projection link on here, I don't think it's going to let me do that. I could try, let me try, but I don't think it's going to let me do that. I might have to go back and, and undo this. So we'll go in, or, yeah, I think I, let's try and do projection link. Um, and then if I look at just this sketch, I'm going to see I only have these two, these shrubs in here, and then these additional lines. I want to see, I think if I hit T on here, it's not going to let me cut these things because they are kind of connected to, uh, you know, previous, it's connected to the other drawings. You can't like cut it from this drawing because it's in both. Um, let's see. Yeah, interesting. So let's see. I don't want to see my, I think you can actually, yeah, in here, I think this is the constraint. Uh, this is telling me that it's a projection. So I think I can actually delete this. If I delete this projection, now this is just a line, and then I should be able to trim this part out. And I think you do the same thing here, just go in and, and delete the projection, make sure this thing goes away. Okay, and then I should be able to trim this out. That's one option. And then I have this in here, and I, you know, I think that means all the rest of the stuff is still going to be linked. Just I've just gotten rid of that one part, which is, that's kind of nice. And then I maybe I, yeah. Okay, so anyways, let's go with that. We're gonna go. We're gonna do that style thing. And now I'm gonna have all of these. These are all going to be my. Maybe I'm gonna make these like my walnut. I don't know. I'm just gonna do some random, random types of wood on here. 
All of these, though, are alike. And now what's great is I have like these geometries all in one sketch, and I can export this just as a DXF to send to the, the laser cutter. Um, so that way, you know, I can just, yeah, I can just send this part off to Lightburn, cut the wood in here, and I, uh, I don't have to cut out the entire sketch. So let's see, let's move back into sketch one. I can repeat this for, you know, as many things as I want to do here. Um, I think you do need to be inside of whatever sketch you want to add to. Like, say, for example, uh, I want to do this out of walnut. I don't think I'm going to make the, I want to make the door the same color. So I can hit P again, project. I can select this part of the door and I'll hit project. And again, if I hide this sketch and I just look at sketch, the walnut sketch, I'm having that. I mean, that's going to be in there. Maybe, and then, you know, I need to kind of just pick and choose what I want to include because I feel like also maybe I want to do the roof. I only have four colors to work with, so I need to kind of be uh, smart about which ones I use. You know, maybe I make all four, make all these things. Um, and then I can see about some of these other colors in here. Like, I have a few more to work with. could also maybe leave some blank. Um, but yeah, let's, let's just add in one more. I'm going to do, let's say, huh. I don't know, maybe I want to make, I don't know, I'm not going to overthink this, I'm just going to go to like finish sketch, I'm going to make one more sketch, this is like a demo, uh, and I think I'm going to do, uh, I'm just going to do all the clouds, just as kind of like a random choice, I'm going to select all the clouds, and I'm going to select, I think like the windows, maybe I want to do all the windows, I don't know, so some of these pieces I'll probably like, I can add these all to here, um, now I can do I can undo projection link on here, and that means that it's just going to kind of make a copy of the sketches from one and move them into the the other into this sketch three. Um, they won't be linked, so if I make any changes in the previous diagram or the previous sketch, it's not going to affect the projected things, which doesn't seem like a big deal. But like, it really is if you start to mess with the original sketch. Um, if they're not linked and you mess with the original sketch, then suddenly all your parts are not going to fit together like nicely and cleanly. So you really need to make sure if you're going to project them without the link, you need to make sure that your initial design is like finalized. You're not going to do any little adjustments because any little adjustments are going to cause your wood piece to no, no longer fit together to make one kind of full image. Uh, they'll just kind of be a little bit off and then that's a whole other headache we have to deal with. Um, so only do projection, only take off projection link if you're very confident that I'm not going to change the main one, because if you have to change the main sketch more, it's just a real headache. I think it might be a better option to leave projection link on, and then we can go into our sketch and just take off the stuff like this one. I think I should be able to find the projection. Undo this. I think I should be able to delete this. Pro delete that this is a projection. Looks like there's a couple things that are. I don't know why it takes so long. Must be like that. Must be showing projection for all these different little parts or something. I don't know. Like maybe that's. Anyways, anyways we'll go into too much detail. Let's just hit T there. Okay. Uh, but what's good about this, the way that doing this way, like these still are projected. So if I change these in the original design, uh, like if I go into here and I say I really want my sketch, I don't like this so much. I want my sketch to be a little bit longer. Like that's going to be that's going to get reflected in this in sketch three. You know, the only difference is like, because this is no longer projected, this thing is no longer getting adjusted. So I'd have to kind of move that a little bit. So those are the, yeah, I mean, that, so that's how you're going to use projection in there. And those are the, the you know, using projection, not using projection, there are some trade-offs of including it or not including it. Um, I wonder if I could have done this better, maybe in the original diagram, if I go back to this, maybe if I even, like, I wonder if I could have done this in a better in a better way. Like if I go into my sketch, let's just go back in time. I wonder if there's not a better way that I could do my sketch in here where it's like I'm identifying these as being two separate points rather than a single line. Or if I can just grab this single piece. I haven't found a great way of doing this, but maybe there is some way of just grabbing a single part of this. Like hitting P. I really don't want that whole line. Anyways, anyways, I won't go into too much more detail on that, but I think hopefully that's a good uh, good introduction to how to use projection and why it's useful. And then eventually, at the end of this, I should have you know four. I should have a total of five sketches. One sketch contains the entire thing, and then the four other uh, sub sketches just contain a small section of the overall project. Um, 
Og jeg går.